Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win. You know what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. Alright, now listen. Before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, right? That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate that 9 a.m. And that 4 p.m. upload every single day. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing. All right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, we have a ridiculous 99 overall paint beast with a whopping 108 badges. Look at this. Add it up. 108. 40 plus 17 plus 30 plus 21 comes out to 100 and eight badges now since we're doing Shaq, we're going about a little differently so these are the badges i got right literally anything and everything you could ask for a center build i have okay look at this i don't even need to go over every single one the one things i did change here was i went here with these but Shaq ain't shooting so i don't use none of these badges okay the only thing i really would get benefit from would be tireless shooter and volume shooter but um deep fades we all know Shaq won't do any fades or anything like that so we didn't utilize that the hot zone hunter of course so the post hooks the clutch shot is a good one but again i will come back and revisit this build and i will add another player that will benefit from the post phase maybe let me know in the comment section what build you want maybe will chamberlain who else with some good um, good fadeaway type centers you know hakeem elijah one let me know all right this is funny literally every single badge you have to get because you got 30 of them i have every single badge maxed out here are you kidding me 30 of them like you can't make this up every single one has been utilized and then on the defensive side this is what i went with um i even added brick wall i could have went somewhere else with it but you know um we were going with the toxic post lock lineup so this is what i ended up going with again ridiculous 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 this is the big difference though so as you see right here 99 standing dunk 99 post hook this is basically like a toxic post hooking type build post moves 97 um, you even have the 80 post fade, um, 76 free throw, this for the seven badges here. And then you see right here, you got the interior defense at the 85. All this is lowered. And then you got block, offensive, defensive, rebound. Again, a really, really toxic build. And then obviously, when you look at the height, he's seven foot three. Shaq obviously was seven foot one. So this is two inches taller. Shaq was also 300 pounds. He fluctuated between 330 to 340 pounds. Um, so this is a little bit lighter. So obviously, it's not the best perfect rendition, but the badges and the attributes play something similar to it. Um, the only downside I would say is that, of course, you know, the driving dunk is not existent on this build. But as usual, not every build is going to be perfect. So we're going to go ahead and head to the Toxic 2s. And we're going to bring out my Paint Beast right here, Shaq with 108 badges. And we're also going to bring my boy Kajani as a lockdown going with that Toxic post-lock lineup. And let's see how we perform. So y'all sit back, relax, grab a big bag of popcorn. And I'll be back in about three seconds. All right, man, let's get right into it. Okay, so as we get into this video, as usual, like I said, man, shout out to my boy Kajani YT for coming on this twos court with me. And it's so funny, it looks like my man, we got a, I think this is the paint beast and play shot, if I'm not mistaken, like the typical lineup. Yeah, play, my paint beast and a play shot. So this would be a really, really good um, indication of how powerful this build can be. You're going against one of the best builds on the game and a paint beast but again i'm a paint beast with post takeover and again 108 badges kajani's on the two-way mid-range score which again i mean shooter which is again one of the rare lockdown builds in the game so you know how we do we always try to keep the rare builds now as you know listen with shack i'm gonna try to go down low and be shack now obviously i have not been on a um on a post scoring build in a very very long time okay so you're gonna have to work with me a little bit as you can see there is some rust here but then i get a nice put back dunk and again this is where the benefit comes at hall of fame put back balls hall of fame contact finisher 99 standing dunk you know everything com comes together to where that will be possible on a paint beast okay so again i'm trying to get my i guess you can say the juices flowing again and trying to reminisce of how i was as a paint beast and again i get a nice post hook 
right there so again you know knocking the dust off really trying to get back into the groove of things on being on a center i haven't been on the center since 2k20 um and again most of all i say i haven't been on a center i mean i haven't been on a post score since 2k20 when i had my um paint beast which i love to death and again like i said i am going to make sure 100 percent that i'm going to give y'all mini center builds because this build can do some post fading so like i said in the intro as kajani throws up i don't know why kajani threw up that shot but you know kajani is good for at least two or three crazy shots a game where it just makes you really scratch your head so now we gotta play some defense now listen i have no perimeter defense i have no lateral quickness i have nothing like that i get a nice little put back dunk and i'm not gonna lie the standing dunks and the contact dunks are really really good so i'm loving this build it's very dominant the problem is as you're gonna see is when we start having to get on defense okay so defense is where it's really gonna be an issue at we all know how great of a player shaquille o'neal is but obviously you can't make everything um right with this build because the fact is if you make him seven foot one and you make him a little bit lighter you have you know and obviously we have to max out the driving dunk you might be able to get some shack type packages but the fact is is that you're not oh my god crazy drop step and finish the fact is is this is that you can't really make a shaquille o'neal build not on 2k21 current gen maybe on next gen you can get away with it if you take away a certain amount of things but to be honest with you this build is more of a post hook type build but i'm really excited the fact that i'm actually able to get on as i finish again like there's nothing he can really do all right so right now the momentum and everything's on our side all right we have everything on our side we're looking good and then all of a sudden i think this is the play right here is this the play yes bruh so i get blocked all right no 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 no. okay so is this what i did when i missed the hook no okay no it's not it it's coming up all right because uh i did i don't know if i screwed it up or because johnny screwed it who screwed this up did i miss it, it was a post hook yeah no no I, no no i think okay no it's not it it's coming up man it's coming up but again the post take is really nasty especially when we have 99 strength i got back down um punisher hall of fame drop stepper hall of fame i have everything and this guy right here most people are going to be the six eight right most six eight are going to be um paint beasts and you know there's nothing wrong with that but the fact is is that on a twos court you know when you're going against this post score which again it's far and few so i still recommend making a six eight paint beast i mean it's far and few that you get something like this but check this out so i'm like five feet from the basket and i literally get drawn into a contact animation so i'm sitting here like bro wait a minute i have all these badges now remember i'm pure blue so i don't have hall of fame but i'm not even close to the rim it literally made my guy like try to take a charge and then getting put into a contact dunk i don't think that's really good and kajani right here as usual he is getting backdoored and that's something i was arguing with him the whole time like bro you get backdoored too much you're always getting backdoored he's very aggressive on defense he feels like he should get in the lanes and get a steal i'm just letting him know like listen it don't work like that 2k is not that great they're not going to allow you to just have iq like they're going to let you be doing head stuff and as you see right here he hits a post fade i'm not post fade um i guess you can say a moving shot and i thought that was really um strange because you don't really see moving shots anymore um unless that's just something on the twos and i don't really get on the twos like that so maybe that is something that's relevant but again i'm extremely slow so like i said you're seeing the downside to this build the downside is is that offensively you can really really take over but defensively you're extremely extremely limited on what you can do so i'm literally playing like a noob i have to play very i have to play extremely far back because if i play close up he's gonna blow right by me i have no perimeter defense i have no lateral quickness and i have no uh what's it what's the other one steal i think right so i just have interior defense block offensive defensive rebound that's it so i'm literally have to stay all the way back as you see right here trying to figure out how we can get lucky and we get lucky enough to get the steal i throw up a nice up post hook now we up 10 16 but again you know we got to make things exciting so uh well not uh, well i'm not trying to make things exciting i'm literally sitting here i am doing think i'm doing pretty good let me know in the comment section how you think i'm playing as a center build like i'm not doing pretty, i'm doing pretty good right and then i messed that up so i missed the post hook and i'll give 2k credit you can definitely miss post hooks now if you don't time them correctly but then he throws up some crap like that so i don't know i doubt he has post hooks and i doubt he has um pro touch but he threw up something and it went in but at the same token i will give 2k some credit on the fact that yeah you do not necessarily as i get again dunked on um defense is gonna be a liability uh, this is what it is i cannot state that anymore this build is a liability on defense that's why you want to make six eight 
point um builds that can help out laterally and play defense laterally but when you're trying to make the most badges and that's keeping it keeping it honest with you we're just trying to make the most badges we're trying to make the most badges that's what you're going to get right here i'm just trying to work my way in again i'm sitting there waiting until he jump and this is the frustration i get with the game everybody knows when somebody jumps right then we should get an animation to where we have him off his feet now we all know the last thing you want to do in any type of sport is be caught in the air off your feet but on 2k when they when you literally catch them off their feet you literally can go up and you get this weird animation where you get blocked and i hope they fix that now on current gen i don't play it enough now i don't know if the animation is still there but that is one of the most frustrating things ever you do the right things you do a pump fake you get him off his feet and then all of a sudden it's not no pogo stick right it's not like he went up for a second jump on his way down you get blocked that's frustrating right but i'm still locked in on defense it's 14 16 three seconds left he gets five seconds because just like you know most people you, you lose track of time sometimes we have a lot of things going on so we had the ball back 14 16 um i'm not really sure what we ended up doing here let me see what we did man because i know at this point it was like yo we gotta play smart this game's really close um i thought yeah now that right there should have <laughs> that should have been intercepted man but hey you know he got some crazy animations we got one back all right so that's why i call it we'll call it even right 14 18 um he's sitting in the paint he's playing smart you know i can't shoot right um and then again here i'm doing some high iq i do a nice little drop step with um um throwing up an easy little bucket because he is shorter than me um you see consistent finish you're popping up hall of fame and then of course you know me being the type of person i am i'm like bro like i really got to get a nice post hook because i was trying to get time i gotta time it right you know what i mean so i'm like yo feed it to the big man let's do one more i'm sitting here trying to set screens i'm like because johnny you know come on come on you're doing you're doing you're doing too much just pass me the ball and then as you can see right here man i'm doing a nice little work here look at this move boom watch this right here watch this right here boom. oh my god perfect with the green i think that's a perfect way to end it man so i'm really excited man 20 points um real quick on the head let me know in the comment section what is the next build you want to see coming from this build right here the 108 badges right but other than that you know how it is this is your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon on the banger man and you know when i say I'm back soon on the banger you know exactly what day i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out it really be your own I don't gotta worry about nobody when alone Niggas go to switching every time I got niggas wanna see me down It's sad, I got niggas praying on my downfall Yeah, don't get me started, I know it all so well She know I got it, I make it juice so oh yeah Fuck out the plan and make a move somewhere Cause I know what it's like when niggas wanna see you gone Gave them everything and all they ever got was wrong Causing all these problems, I got demons around me Came me too excited with these people around me